Hi Virgo, how are you guys? Thank you so much for tuning in. I'd also like to thank all of you that have liked, shared, subscribed, commented, you know, um, book personal readings, all of that. I appreciate you guys, uh, you know, being here. Okay, I really do. Um, if you're not already subscribed, go ahead and do so and you can hit the bell notification as well. Okay, if you would like to book a personal reading, you can contact me at claritygoddesstarot at gmail.com. Okay, all that information will be in the description box. Okay, guys. So um, let me just touch on something really quickly before we get started, okay? So someone um, left a comment, and I'm really not that upset about it, okay? Some, actually, uh, two people have said this, actually, uh, basically trying to bash me, <laughs> okay, for um, already having the cards laid out, okay, and not shuffling on camera. Maybe I'll do that in the future, okay, guys? But as of right now, this is just how I prefer to read, okay? I prefer to, because I literally do shuffle the deck like 10 to 20 times, okay? Um, that's just how I am, and I just really want to get the most uh, authentic, accurate, uh, clear reading here uh, possible, okay? So that's why I shuffle so much and I just you know, I think that it would be very time consuming, okay, to do it on camera, right? So that's why I already uh, have them laid out and have already kind of pieced together the uh, the reading, okay, the message. So, you know, if it resonates, it does. If it doesn't, it doesn't, you know. So for those of you that um, don't feel comfortable with readers that already have the cards laid out, you know, it's, uh, it's plenty of readers here, guys, okay, on YouTube. So, you know, just go and uh, find someone that reads the way that you want, okay? So, uh, you know, I'm not really trying to go on a rant here, so I just wanted to get that out the way, okay? So, let's go ahead and get started. You guys do know this is a general message, all right, which means it may or may not resonate with you. Also, the cards are not gender specific, okay, guys? I have to emphasize that. It's, uh, you know, it could be a male or a female. It could be a family member. It could be a co-worker a neighbor whoever okay so just take it how it resonates with your uh situation in your life okay generally these do kind of uh, revolve around love situations okay guys so you know anyway just take it how it fits okay so let's uh touch on the past really quickly we've got the two of cups you could have been dealing uh with a water sign here okay a cancer or scorpio or a pisces person but this is about partnership um love you know having uh you guys being in alignment with someone okay um next we do have the uh knight of wands Okay, it's in the reverse. So I feel like some of you, you uh, and you also could be dealing with a fire sign, an Aries, a Leo, or a Sag, but I feel like some of you have been dating someone or getting to know them here, okay? Or just in a relationship with them, period. But we also, you know, with this Knight of Wands here, this is someone who is a player, okay? This is someone who uh, has very passionate, lusty, type of energy okay maybe a friends with benefits type of situation some of you could have had going on here but this person um they make rash decisions or they make hasty decisions they got this in and out flighty energy okay that i feel some of you just couldn't really rock with okay to be honest i feel like some of you may have cut this off okay with this ace of swords in the reverse um you know when this is an upright this speaks about truth this speaks about clarity okay um, and communication, obviously, that's what the source are uh, representative of, okay? So I feel like some of you have just stopped talking to someone, okay? You just could have uh, stone cold cut communication here, okay? You've been ignoring this person, some of you here with this uh, two of swords being next, okay? Um, someone needs to be, uh, someone needs to make a decision. I don't know if it was you or them, okay, Virgo, but someone needs to make a decision and they're not making it, okay? So maybe this person needed to choose between you and someone else, or you're either just stuck here, um, maybe debating about whether or not to, you know, continue with this connection, okay? But a lot of you here, I feel, have just ended this, okay? Because grounding your reading was the tower card in the upright, okay? So uh, it could have been a tower moment that happened, okay? Maybe you found some things out about this person that you don't like, or you just had an awakening, okay? That this is not really what you want to do here, okay? So yeah, we also had the Wheel of Fortune in the uh This is in the upright, sorry about that. But yes, this is in the upright. This is about a cycle coming to an end, okay? Closure here. Um, Yeah, I feel like some of you just straight closed this uh situation, out with this person okay maybe you didn't even give them a warning okay maybe that's why this uh tower card is here or either they could have done this to you okay so um let's step over here into the uh present energy okay here in the center we do have the death card all right you could be dealing with a scorpio so this is about an ending like i just mentioned a few minutes ago some of you just straight up close something out with someone okay we also have um you know some uh the i mean the seven of wands this is about defensive energy okay so someone could be uh very defensive here about what i'm not exactly sure okay um i feel as though someone had some type of uh they just woke up to something okay i feel like this was very abrupt for some of you um this this uh ending here whether you did it or they did it 
but I feel like somebody may have uh, been trying to reach out to you or get you to talk or open up here and you could have just uh, cut it off, okay? And you're defending your position here, okay? Maybe you realize some things about this person that you don't like, all right? Next, we also have the Emperor card in the reverse. You could be dealing with a uh, Aries here, okay? Or this could represent the energy of a father. So this could be your own father or a brother or, you know, a boss, a job, you know, um, a manager. Some of you, this could relate to work, okay? Um, others of you, this could be your husband, okay, or the father of your children here. But this is about someone who's very controlling um, and very dominant, okay? Um, you know, I feel like the emperor in the reverse, to me personally, you know, it's not always a bad uh, card here, okay? Um, it depends on the other cards that are surrounding it, okay? So I feel as though some of you, because this is about control, I feel like some of you are defending your position here, okay? You're trying to either gain control over yourself or the situation because some of you, um, you know, I feel like this person may remind you of someone from your past, okay? I feel like some of you could be, uh, <laughs> I'm gonna be honest, I feel like some of you could be, be uh, could be being very mean to this person, okay? Um, and, and rejecting them or um, just displaying a lot of uh, dominant energy here, okay? Again, I feel like something could have happened, okay, Virgo, that uh, has put you in this energy or either this is them, okay? Only you guys know, right? So, um, you know, again, the, the Emperor card in the reverse to me is not always necessarily uh, bad here, okay? Some people deserve to be treated that way, okay? I'm not really trying to uh, project my own energy here or my own opinion, really, you know, or to try to tell you guys what to do, but I mean, sometimes that's a natural human reaction, okay? If someone has done something to you or have uh, approached you in a, um, you know, a way that's not uh, right here, okay? Very well, you could want to take on this Emperor in the reverse energy, okay? Um, so I hope that's making sense to you guys. I'm not going to stay on that for too long, but yeah. So next we also have the, uh, Knight of Cups in the reverse. Okay. So this is about, um, someone being emotionally unstable. Okay. Some of you could have, maybe this person was making you this way. Okay. I'm also sensing some fear here to a degree. Okay. I feel like some of you don't want to go back down the same road that you did in the past, either with this person or this person reminds you of someone or a situation that you've already been through. Okay. And maybe they did something that rubbed you the wrong way. Okay. That's what I'm really uh, picking up here, Virgo. Somebody did something to you that, uh, offended you or rubbed you the wrong way. And you, um, it could have left you a little emotionally imbalanced here, or this person is emotionally imbalanced. Um, this also can represent the energy of someone jealous. Okay. So I'm picking up some jealous uh, energy as well. And um, next we do have the King of Pentacles and the Hierophant card. Okay, some of you, this uh, could have been your husband here. Um, you know, with the Hierophant card, you also could have been dealing with another Earth sign. Okay, uh, another Virgo, a Taurus, or a Capricorn here. Okay, um, but... You know, this was a committed relationship for some of you. Others of you, this represents that you want stability here, okay? You want commitment and stability. You don't want, um, I mean, some of you may be okay with a friends with benefits situation. I'm definitely not judging you here, you know, but others of you, you want uh, stability and you want commitment and you could have just uh, cut this off with this person because you don't see uh, them offering that to you, okay? That's what I'm uh, seeing here. Now, let's touch on this energy up here at the top really quickly. So, um, again, guys, this could be your energy or theirs, okay? It could be yours at the top, theirs at the bottom, vice versa, a bit of both, you know? Only you know your life, your situation, and what's been going on with you, okay? So you know how you feel, you'll know what resonates. So the Ace of Cups does speak about love, okay? Um, strong, strong emotions, okay? Some of you may have for this person or started out this way or this is how they feel about you. You know, I feel like you guys were getting along here, but something went wrong, okay? Um, I don't know if they said something that you didn't like or did something here, okay? But the Four of Wands does represent uh, communication and uh, stability, okay? A happy home life, all of that. Um, you know, even if you guys didn't live together, this uh, just represents that at one point here, you know, this uh, connection was stable, okay? Next, we have the Page of Swords in the reverse. So, yeah, um, I feel like it was a blockage in communication here. Somebody also could have been lying. I'm sensing the energy of a liar, okay? You could have caught somebody in a lie or they caught you in one. Um, somebody also could be doing some stalking here as well, okay? Watching you, watching you on social media. Um, and I feel like they're waiting too. Someone's waiting for you to reach out to them. Um, next, we do have the uh, King of Cups in the reverse and the Four of uh, Cups, okay? So, yeah, more water sign energy. Um, but I feel like... 
you know, something uh, rubbed you the wrong way, like I said before, and you have kind of pulled back here, okay, with this King of Cups in reverse. You don't really want to invest your emotions into this anymore, okay? This uh, Four of Cups does represent a love offer coming in, okay? And, um, you know, you you just not wanting it. So maybe this person has been texting you, you've been ignoring them, okay, or just flat out rejecting them, okay? Um, others of you, I feel like you, because this card can represent uh, someone feeling uh, just disengaged with their love life, okay? Some of you could have been turning down offers for other people as well. Kind of like, okay, not now, maybe later when I get myself together, I'll start dating again. Others of you are just like... <clears throat> Um, just kind of discouraged here, you know, within your love life situation, okay? Maybe this person just kind of displayed an energy of someone from your past and you're just like, you know, damn, is everyone the same? You know, kind of uh, kind of like that for some of you here, okay? So let's move down here to this energy at the bottom. We have the Six of Pentacles. So I feel like this person does want to come together and work with you here, okay? Um, this could represent that in the beginning, you know, this was uh, even here, okay? This is this card is about giving, okay? And, and things being reciprocated and things being balanced, all right? So I feel like they still want to give to you, but they could be uh, carrying this devil energy, okay? Which um, you also could be dealing with a Capricorn, but this is about toxicity, okay? This is about uh, control issues. Um, again, I feel like someone could be lying here. Um, I feel like there's uh, some type of strong sexual tie that you may have with someone as well, okay, where it's uh, kind of based upon sex. Again, with that Knight of Wands energy being over there, you know, that is someone who's um, just kind of in it for the sex, okay? I'm going to be honest, okay, guys? So um, some of you, again, just aren't really trying to uh, participate in that type of situation, okay? And you put a halt to it because next we have the Chariot card in the reverse, all right? You also could have been dealing with a Cancer here, but this, uh, to me, how I'm picking it up based upon the other cards you guys got off to a pretty decent start a good start you liked them they liked you and somebody uh put it into this uh real fast <laughs> okay is what i'm picking up it's it's kind of uh stagnant here i'm not saying you guys will never talk again but as of now i feel like some of you have just uh went cold turkey on this person okay um next we do have the uh knight of of uh swords here okay air energy you could be dealing with a, a libra a gemini or an aquarius so this card is about action, okay? Action and communication. So I feel like this person wants to talk to you. They do, okay? Um, and next to that, we have the Eight of Pentacles. So this is about putting in work. So this person, um, you know, I do feel as though they, they got love for you or, or feelings for you here, okay? Or either they like you a lot with that, uh, with that Ace of Cups. But um, you're kind of defensive here, Virgo, or either you're just not sure, okay? That's what I'm picking up. But um, yeah, they want to put in work with you, but they're still carrying that damn uh, devil energy, okay? So I feel like this person, it's like maybe they just don't know um, what to do here, okay? Maybe you guys are, you know, this is a brand new connection, so they may not be aware of how what they did, you know, uh, pissed you off or affected you, okay? So they don't really know what to think here is another thing I'm picking up. Um, also with that eight of pentacles, you know, this could be you. Okay. This could be you deciding to put a stop to this, uh, situation. All right. You've decided to take more action towards your goals, your work life, all of that focus more on your money here. Okay. With this knight of swords and the eight of pentacles. Okay. Others of you, somebody is really focused here on someone. Okay. Because the eight of pentacles, if it's not relating to a work situation for you guys, this can be the energy of someone because the eight of pentacles is about someone paying very, very close attention to something okay being very focused on something and um you know just being very diligent about whatever it is that they're focusing on so i feel like that's you okay i feel like they're focusing on you and especially with that devil card being right there too that's about obsession okay so i'm feeling an energy of, of obsession here okay if they're not stalking you on social media they're doing a lot of thinking about you maybe looking at your pictures or rereading uh the text messages okay is another thing i'm sensing here um, or this could be you, okay, Virgo. But yeah, that's what I'm uh, I'm picking up, okay. So let's move over here to uh, to this uh, position over here, which represents some potential outcome energy. So we've got the Temperance card. You could be dealing with a Sagittarius, okay. This is about imbalance here, overindulgence. All right, when it's in the reverse, somebody could be uh, could have been drinking too much or addicted to something here with that double card, and the situation just you know is uh, involving somebody overindulging okay somebody not being balanced here or um it's a lack of emotional balance within this situation somebody that doesn't really know what to do okay is another thing that i'm picking up with this temperance card in the reverse okay someone uh just kind of being all over the place all right 
Um, we also have the Five of Swords. So this um, is more air energy. Again, Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius. But this is about mind games, okay? Um, fighting, arguing, harsh communication, that type of thing, okay? Uh, we also have the Five of Pentacles in the reverse, all right? Um, so yeah, you could have left someone out in the cold, okay, here recently, all right? Or now, you know, this could be happening right now. And here in the future, you know, within the next couple of days and whatnot, you know, this is about someone wanting to come out of this energy, okay, of uh, being left out here or rejected, all right? Um, we also had the page of cups. Okay. So to me, this is a apology. All right. So I don't know if you're going to be giving it to them or, um, them to you, but I see love messages coming in here, but I'm gonna be honest, Virgo. I see that you don't want it. Okay. Or either you're just going to be hesitant here. And maybe that's why that, uh, eight, uh, that seven of wands is in the current energy. Okay. Which speaks about defensiveness. So some of you are, um, you know, going to be de defending the fact that you don't really want to uh, participate in this. Okay. Uh, but yeah, the Empress card, the Empress card in the reverse. Um, yeah, next to the six of cups, some of you again, just aren't really, uh, trying to invest here. Okay. You're not trying to grow this connection. Others of you, this could, uh, this could be your baby mama that you're going through this with. Okay. If you're a man, um, some of you could be fighting with your mother. Maybe that's the situation here. Okay. Or a mother figure. Um, someone also could be pregnant here. Maybe that's what this is about for some of you. Okay. Some of you could be missing someone that passed away is another thing I'm uh, picking up here. This could have to do with someone who uh, passed away because next we do have the six of uh, cups in the reverse. Okay. So this is about thinking about the past still. Okay. And then the reason why I said that is because over there in the current energy, we do have the death card. Okay. So yeah, I feel like some of you could be uh, re reminiscing about someone from the past, particularly maybe a mother figure. Um, you know, and like I said, guys, this, this is different for everyone. Okay. Everyone's not going through the same thing so this you know the the message here resonates different for everybody okay but yeah so um again i just see mainly here that a lot of you here are just uh not going to be investing here with this person okay they did or said something that that rubbed you the wrong way i'm not saying you guys will never talk again but as of now and you know within the next couple of days i don't really see it uh happening okay guys so and, and virgos can be kind of stubborn <laughs> virgos can it definitely is not to bag on you guys but you know i'm be honest when, when you piss a virgo off because virgos do tend to give people a lot of chances so i'm feeling like some of you you know maybe they did something uh before or re or you know or you know in the past and you kind of let it slide or either you know, you gave them the benefit of the doubt and they could have turned around and did it again. Okay. It's what I'm picking up for some of you. And now you're just like, no, forget that. I'm good. I don't want to invest in this. I'm going to focus on, you know, myself and my career and all of that. So if that's resonating with you guys, be sure to, um, you know, comment below, hit the like, share, subscribe button, the bell notification, and, um, also contact me if you need a personal reading. Okay, guys, the, um, all the information is in the description box. Okay. So thank you so much. And I'll talk to you guys next week. Take care.